to my channel and welcome back to another day of Christmas. I am really excited today. First of all, your girl is celebrating five years of being fully natural. Five years of this natural hair journey and I know some of y'all have been here from the beginning so special shout out to you. I love y'all, seriously. It's crazy though, I really can't believe so much time has passed and every year I love to, you know, commemorate and celebrate my natural hair journey by doing something special. So for this year, I really wanted to just have an open and candid conversation about my journey, but not just with me and y'all, but with a special guest. So I'm really excited. I really feel like some gems are about to be dropped. I just want to be honest and just talk about things that we go through and all the things, all the things, all right? So let's just go ahead and get into it. So welcome our special <laughs> guest of the evening. Hello, hello. This is my mom, as you guys know. Um, and I just thought it was so fitting that we kind of just, we talk about natural hair all the time. Yeah. So I figured, and also she went natural exactly, like literally almost to the day, two years after I big chopped and went natural as well. So yeah. while I'm celebrating five years, you're celebrating three. Yes. And as y'all can see, she recently <laughs> did a big chop. So we're gonna get into all of it. We're gonna be talking products and everything. Um, I actually have some notes on my phone so we can make sure that we're hitting all the points that we wanted to hit. So first, I guess it makes sense to start by talking about just briefly like how our natural hair journey started. I mean, for me, most of y'all know how mine started. I didn't really mean to go natural until I did and then I big chopped and that was basically it. When I started my natural hair journey is around the same time that I started my YouTube channel and I really have been sharing my entire journey basically these last five years. Yeah. How about you? Like, what what made you? Yeah. Well, well, you were my inspiration um, when you cut your hair. Um, I was starting to think of uh, transition from my job into a different life. Yeah. Um, so therefore, retiring, and I thought, what better way? I'd always had my hair relaxed from as far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. um, growing up in Jamaica, um, yeah, my hair was really kinky and it was it was very difficult to manage. So as far back as I can remember, it was relaxed. Yeah. And I carried it through when I became an adult. So, you know, I've always known it like that. So I started this transition of not relaxing it and just allowing the natural hair to grow um, and it was tough holding I did that for about a year you transitioned I transitioned mm -hmm. for about a year and then you went for the transition and then once I retired um, it was my way of stepping into this new life yes and I chopped it off that's so funny really that you short. say that because my big chop was centered around well not centered around but it just so happened to be that my big chop appointment was right like the day after a night where my long-term boyfriend at the time and I had broken up yeah so it's interesting that like that I was like that. a catalyst of like new life you know like a yeah. new beginning for yeah. us yeah but what's awesome I, I think it's like that for a lot of women yeah like it really a woman who's gonna cut her hair is gonna change her life. Like, yeah. Yes, yeah. that's true. We should do a t-shirt like that. We should do a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but what's also funny is I remember when I was telling you after, because yeah. remember my plan was to transition for two years, yeah. but I, listen, one thing about me, if I lose my patience, that's it. So I lost my patience. My yeah. hair is in a bun every oh single God. day. So I told her I wanted to chop and she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, I don't think it's a good idea. And look at you now. <laughs> Her hair was so pretty. It was so, it was pretty. I was long. It was long. It was long. And, and guess who had cared for it <laughs> lovingly for so long? He, she was one of those oh typical Caribbean parents who don't let you cut your hair. Like, you know, in high yeah. school, you go through that phase of like all your friends yeah. cutting their hair you wanted to? No, not I me. Had it trimmed. I, not I, me. I trimmed the ends. We trimmed it, stuff, but, but I would never I be really able to. really took good care of her hair, and next thing you know, she was cutting it off. Oh! I know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But, yeah. but yeah, what do we I think it. now? Like, it's amazing. I'm so glad we did I it. it. I yeah. wish we did it sooner almost. I actually, I, that's I think one of my big regrets. Like I feel, I wish I had cut my hair. I'd gone natural I should say. I wish I had gone natural years ago. 
and um, embraced my natural hair because look at her. Hey, oh. period. However, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember. I mean, I was so young when my hair was relaxed. I, I didn't remember. And, and of course, even back then, had I gone natural, it probably would have frustrated me because we don't have the products then that we have now mm, so well see products yeah. is a whole other thing now yeah because i remember you like game changer <laughs> game changer yeah game changer i remember when you yeah. went natural i feel like that was one of the biggest like overwhelming it was things for you is finding the was. right product it was it was very overwhelming i think um i would listen to i would watch Alyssa's videos and and obviously see her products in our bathroom and so I naturally thought when I cut my hair that oh I'm just gonna use her stuff she's just great at this and her hair looks amazing but I found that when I was using the same products I wasn't getting the same results which is interesting right I wasn't getting the same results and so it was so frustrating I kept running to her and saying oh listen my hair isn't coming out the way that I, I want it to and I'm using the same things you're using. Mm -hmm. Light bulb went off. Ding, ding, ding. We do <laughs> not have the same hair type. No. They're very different. Yeah. Like, similar but different. different. Yeah. And I think we also like to wear our hairs in different ways. Like I feel yeah. like hairs. I feel <laughs> we like to wear our hair in different ways. So like yeah. you love curl definition. I think that's I always your number one thing. Yeah. And me, I like a good mix of volume with curl definition, although it's yeah. dependent on what length, what shape, yeah. what style it is, but most of the time I like a good mix of volume and curl definition. Yeah. So to have those two different things, like of course the product yeah. combinations aren't gonna work. Yeah. Which is always why I'm always telling y'all, you gotta listen to your hair and what your yes. hair is saying, and I think that is the moment that you did that yeah, for I went, I went on that journey to find a products that would work with my hair the yeah. way I wanted it to be mm -hmm. and you were key in that as well mm -hmm. because you realized it as well and so I started to to experiment with different products yeah until I found what worked for me right and sometimes I would think after washing it and waiting for it to dry because um, I didn't diffuse that much I would wait sometimes it took my hair like three days um, to dry and I think you know once I I would wash it and then I would think oh you know this is the product and then when it dries it's like super brittle Different or, story. like yeah it was just so then I would be back to the Ooh. drawing board so it took me a while to find the products that I really love and then as I did that my hair just grew like wildfire yeah it just grew um, i'll i'll try to yeah, put in some photos so. here so you guys can see where her hair was yeah right before she chopped it, it recently oh gosh, it was so much it was <laughs> so much it's so much work i'm at that stage now where i'm like <laughs> i can't wait for my trim tomorrow <laughs> i cannot wait because i'm like this is way too much i have it to the yeah. side because it's all in my eyes and stuff. i'm just like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it looks nice though Thank i love you. it i love it love it love it wait so Let's talk products still, though, yeah. because there are a couple brands that both of us truly love and work for both of us. And I think I think the main brand actually is Briogeo, right? Briogeo. Their wash products oh specifically, like the deep conditioners, the yeah. shampoos, yep. bomb.com bomb for both of us. For both of us. Um, but tell them what your your regimen looks like. Like, what does it look like, and what products do you use? Like, starting from wash day. Okay, so for wash day, Briogeo all the way. Like, I use yeah, yeah every Briogeo shampoo. Like, use I the tend one? to have yeah, I I use all of them. The purple one and the red one, I think. Yeah. So the I Don't Despair them. Repair Collection and then the Curl I Charisma. Use that. Yeah. Yeah. Those two. And um, I use the charcoal because my, my scalp tends to be on the dry side. Mm -hmm. My scalp, yeah, I from have to pay attention to You have a lot scalp. of scalp trauma from relaxing I so do. long. I do. Her scalp still of... scabs up sometimes yes. if she's not um, yeah. like using serums consistently yeah. and stuff. So I have to pay a lot of attention to my scalp. And Briogeo has charcoal and stuff. They have shampoos that work on my scalp so 
I, I, as I use them consistently, um, you know, my scalp will stay healthy. And then Kinky Curly, Curl Jab. Look at the way her face lit up. <laughs> From day one, I, I had, when I did my big chop, the, um, the salon that did the big chop, shout out to Nikki in Cayman. Ooh. She did my big chop. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so um, she used Kinky Curly in my hair and I stuck with it. Uh, it worked for me. I've tried other gels, but yeah, Kinky Curly. Kinky, kinky curly, curly, period, kinky all the curly, way. All and the for way. me, so while we use like Brio Geo products, Kinky Curly now, I used to love Kinky Curly when my hair was like long and bigger. It used to like offer the hold that I needed for like all that hair. But now at this stage, gels in general, but especially Kinky Curly is a little bit heavy for me. Yeah. For, for like a girl who loves volume, like a fluffy volume, that's like gonna be too heavy for me. Yeah. But it's nice because your hair is always so nice and defined. It looks so good. Yeah. Mm. So there's so much um, benefit in going through the process of yeah. finding the products that work for you and yes. listening to your hair. Yes. And just figuring and it out. Loving your hair. Loving your hair for just what it loving is. Loving your hair. Because that everybody's keyword hair. there is your hair. Your hair. Everybody's hair is so different. Oh my gosh. Like and literally. Beautiful. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. You just have to find what works for you in terms of you know how you manage your hair yeah it's... and what you want to get out of it yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so for me i guess wait my... why aren't we on oprah I... isn't there a series that they had that... yeah the hair tales hello oprah give us a call honey we're ready <laughs> we're ready love me some oprah i'm dead <laughs> wait so you stopped using leave-in conditioners as well, right? I did. So you're just doing yes. the shampoo, deep conditioner, and then gel. And then my style. style, right. And then once I, uh, so, so I'm at day one. Is day one when the day after you are? I call wash day, day one. Okay, so I'm at day two. Day two is the best. Right, always. so I'm at day Every two, time. and so there's nothing else. I woke up this morning, this is my hair. When I'm gonna refresh my hair now, mm -hmm. at, at this length, I just use mousse. I'm and just, which mousse? I can't remember the name of it. Yes, you can. The orange one? Yeah. Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse. Yes! <laughs> They've seen me use it. I did mention you when I introed the product to them. Yes! She's obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. That's what I use whenever, you know, when you sleep, like I sleep with a silk bonnet on mm -hmm. and, you know, I wake up sometimes and, you know, a few of these, they're Are gone, flattened. they're flat yeah. or whatever. If I just need to just get some definition back into some of the curls. I just use that mousse and I'm good to go and I'm gone. That's actually what I use to refresh my hair today. This front part, these yeah. bangs, you see the curls popping. That's what I use. It's so good. Yeah, it's really, really nice for it's refresh. So Camille Rose. <laughs> they are really good. I think that's another brand that both of us really, really love. Yeah. Cause their products, yeah. their ingredients, you can tell the difference. Like when you use it, their yeah. ingredients are so good. It's not drying. It's always nice and moisturizing and Bomb. 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 So for me, my natural hair regimen with <laughs> most of you guys already know my natural hair regimen, but um, same thing. So just like shampoo and conditioner um, and then to style, y'all know I've been loving mousse lately with my hair short and me wanting it to be more big, more fluffy. The Do Mousse Def Mousse has not failed me yet. So that has been kind of my go-to. So this is a wash and go that I did with the Do and then I think this might be day three or four. So I refreshed a little bit with the spiked honey mousse and this is where we're at. So we we beautiful really kind of at a point where we're kind of pretty confident in what we're using. We yeah. know what we need to use in order yeah. to get a good wash. And it's a great place to be in. Yes. It sounds so good to hear you it talking is. so confidently about your natural hair yeah. regimen. Oh my gosh. That you use. I have been It didn't start through. out that way. No, it, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> so if if anyone watching this um, I guess as a mom and I'm always giving advice always. <laughs> and was watching this it going through that stressful time that you feel like giving up and oh my hair is not coming out the way I wanted to if you're scared to 
cut your hair uh, even though you feel like you know this mm -hmm. just might be the thing I need to do but you're scared to how to cut your hair you just have to feel good about your hair yeah. whether it's you know what you're using the shape it's in the style yeah. it's in you just got to feel yeah. confident and it's an extra level of confidence knowing that the next wash day is not going to take you four yeah hours which which brings us back to one of the other reasons that i cut my hair i i found that um it was so long mm -hmm. that and it was so curly that you couldn't see how long it was so when i was in mm. the shower oh, yeah. i was spending time um getting the knots out i would have to i think i got to the stage where it was parted in eight so that and then i would i would be one section, at, section a time. at a time trying to get knots out and some of them were pretty deep oh my lord it was especially the oh ones right here God. in this oh, special yeah we got a special patch yeah this special patch <laughs> i feel right like here. most of y'all can relate let me know if y'all can relate in the comments to the special patch i love you but you're rough yeah right <laughs> no i enjoy wash day and i i remember um i was in jamaica with my cousin um, having a girls weekend shout out to Michelle <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. Hey <laughs> and my hair was in one the entire time it was just in one big big poof mm -hmm. and I was uh, she was asking me what happened why isn't your hair out and stuff and I was telling her girl my hair and I are separated right now. We're quickly heading to divorce. And... You used to complain about it all <laughs> oh the time, gosh. though. You were like, "Oh, my hair, my hair. I don't like how it yeah. looks. I don't like." Ugh. And then it's so it was just too much. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna stay short. Um, I, love I it. will alternate between this and mm -hmm. even shorter. Ooh. Uh, and shape? I tell. Shape? Yeah, I I tell people because. I I'm gray. I like I have a lot of gray, and I tell that I color it though. But I, I tell people that when I'm like, you know, maybe 85, I'm gonna be rocking a spike. I'm gonna let the grays just come out. Yes. Don't, I'm not gonna color it I'm anymore, really and I'm gonna do like that. a shaved off thing and spike it up and look <laughs> really yeah, man. <gasps> oh, I look wicked. I'm excited to yes. see the gray, the all gray. I've been yeah. dying for you to yeah, do that. Yeah, but you're not seeing it till I'm about 85, which is a few years away. So, yeah. Quite a few years. Quite when few you're years. 85, I'm going to be 75, 65, 45? No. 50? Yeah. I'm going to be 55 Don't worry, when you're 85. I'm over 55 and popping. I'm okay. On and popping. So, it's actually I'm, looking I'm okay. quite good for me. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that was was key for me was realizing, uh, figuring out how to style my hair if I have a formal event, like if I'm mm. wearing a gown. Or, yes. You know, I think yes. that was key for me to find um, hair jewelry and because I love accessories. I love any kind of accessories. I love accessories for the home. I love accessories for my body. I love accessories for my hair. Yeah. And I didn't think of getting accessories until I started getting frustrated with like, what, am I, what can I do with my hair? I'm going to this party, I'm wearing a gown, yeah. and I want to do something different with my hair. Yeah. And so once I found accessories for my hair and I started like, Putting it up to the side. I've seen your tutorials on mohawks, <laughs> oh, so you. I did a few mohawks. Well, that yeah, you're, girl. Oh, you're so cute because you're the one who taught me how to use the yeah the cone clips. Yeah, right? and I used to use those as a kid. Yeah, I used to use those as a kid. And literally, no one yeah. besides you, like you're the only person on the earth that, that knows them. how to use them <laughs> properly so that they stay secure. My relationship has changed a lot with my hair actually over the years. I feel like when I first started out and I, I big chops and stuff, the goal was to grow, 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 right. grow, grow, grow. And then you get in this like, in this thing where you're just like, okay, I don't want anything else except to grow. And then you wake up one day and you're like, why do I have all this like hair here? Like, wh like what's the point? Mm -hmm. You know. So my relationship has changed in that I'm not obsessed with growth anymore. I really 
love my hair though I love it still because a lot of people say like when you chop your hair off like you must not love it and that mm -hmm. could not be further from the truth I feel like I gained a new love and appreciation for my hair through chopping it again and again and again <laughs> um, so I love my hair and I've become kind of attached to it which is again the opposite of what you would think of somebody who loves to cut their hair mm -hmm. but um like I love to have my curly hair out like the other day I went to an event and I slicked my hair back in a in a knot like a just a top knot and when I was meeting people there I felt so weird because I was like oh my god they have no idea that I have this big beautiful crazy hair all they're seeing is this knot and I remember like a lot of times at these events I'm in conversation with people about hair we get into hair we talk about products my favorite thing to talk about it's truly a part of who I am I feel yeah. and so they were just talking to me about my outfit and like other things they're probably like what she know about natural hair because I didn't see my hair because it was all slicked back and I it just I didn't know that was a moment where I noticed like how attached I am to my hair and part of it has kind of become a little bit of my identity like Alyssa mm -hmm. has big hair yeah when I walk into a room you're looking for me I know everybody's just looking for big hair you know what I mean yeah. so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing it's your thing. um but it's my thing, it's thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I have this new like kind of attachment to my hair a deeper appreciation for my curls um and I just love them I also though as attached and uh, and you know as much as I love my hair at the same time I'm also at the stage where I'm still wanting to like experiment and try new things like y'all have seen me do multiple experiments on my channel recently with like roller sets braid outs all that stuff I'm even potentially considering running a, a little flat iron moment through it as safely as possible to check it out but I just feel like at this stage I want to be doing that stuff. I was so strict on my hair for so long. Remember, I didn't even use shampoo. It was crazy because it was still like the diva curl rules, where it was yeah. like no shampoo, no straightening it, like all this stuff. Yeah, because of that, I started off with cool wash only as, as well. well. Yeah. And I can't. I just still can't believe like we fell yeah. for all that. But you know, the I would say um, for me looking at your hair growth and all the things that you have done mm -hmm. and the progress that you've made over the years mm -hmm. i think the one that i love the most that you've dropped is coloring her hair oh, oh my gosh wait you're glad that i don't color my hair yes <laughs> tell the people why because i was cute okay <laughs> i'm enjoying my dark look right now but i thought I know you did. You were cute. I mean, come, I on. Cute. come on. Are you throwing shots? Hi, baby. <laughs> She's cute. You're cute no matter what you do. I'm just saying, like, I always felt like your dark hair just made you light up. Yeah. And you never saw that. You were just like, oh, I'm gonna do red. I wanna do I'm this. Gonna I wanna do this. I wanna do that. But I feel like without doing that, we wouldn't have come to this stage now where I'm actually loving and appreciating well, my all dark of us, natural hair color. All of us young 20 odd year olds we got, at yeah. that age, that's what live we and, do. It's I the live it. and learn. <laughs> yeah. The live and learn yeah, era yeah, where yeah, you just yeah, have to yeah. do these things and then you'll yeah, come back around eventually. And then you'll eventually. come right back around. Speaking of that, what are your thoughts on the natural hair community? Because I feel like while we have a beautiful community, sometimes I feel like there are parts of the natural hair community they can actually be a little bit toxic and what I mean by that is like for example a lot of people let's say I wake up tomorrow and I want to run a flat iron through my hair I know for a fact that I will have the natural hair police under my comments going like coming from my neck because I put a flat iron in my hair. That's one of the things about the natural hair community and not the entire community, but it is like a part of the community is like the natural hair police, like they will come for you. And I just don't agree with that. I feel like at this stage, let people wanna do what they wanna do with their hair. Just let yes. them do it. You know, not everybody is looking for your advice or for your comments or whatever. If somebody is doing something to their hair, they're happy with it, just let them let them live and be happy, honestly. Like, just let them color it. Because there was, for a time also, there were uh, the same natural hair police that would come for you saying like, well, your hair isn't natural technically if you colored it. 
but it's still my natural curl. Yeah, so like, it's still your hair. Yeah, so like those are kind of like the little things that I can't stand. Well, well, my view on that is, um, I think we can all use the same advice throughout life. Mm -hmm. And people can't just say, um, let people live and do what they want to do in certain pockets of life. Mm -hmm. It has to be consistent throughout everything. Yeah, like they don't like to right? see people change. People can do what they want to do as long as it's not hurting anyone else. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think where social media is concerned um, and life in general, I, I think people will say stuff and they're entitled to give their opinion, mm -hmm. but you don't have to take it. Yeah. Yeah. You That's don't have a good to one. take it. Bless people and let them move on. You know, I I just want to say as Alyssa's mom that I'm grateful to everyone who is on her channel. People that Aww. that don't agree with maybe her cutting her hair or a product that she used or whatever, mm -hmm. but you're still there and and we love I you. I appreciate you for that. For sure. Yeah. For so sure. there are other influencers that I follow as well. You know, they, they may sell clothes or whatever. And because you're there supporting Alyssa, I'm there supporting someone else. Oh, it's like a chain of support. Oh, yeah. that's so, so sweet. I, I, when it comes to stuff like that, I think do you? Do you, boo? You look beautiful. Yeah. Stunning. Thank you. So do you. Got it from my mama. Hey! <laughs> Shout out to Jamaica. Okay. Big up, yourself. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. I think also yeah. the thing with social media is that a lot of people feel super bold behind like the protection yeah. of a screen. Like, yeah. say it to my face though. <laughs> say it to my face, please. <laughs> But I think that's like the, the main thing of why like social media can get so vicious sometimes. But yeah. I just want to see a world where we can just let people do what they want to do and that be that. But yeah. like you said, at the end of the day, it is so important to just have thick skin and thick do skin. whatever yeah. it is you want to do. And that's yeah. really kind of where I'm at in my journey now. Yeah. Where like I don't care. Yeah. I don't care what anybody wants to say, what anybody wants to think. Like if I feel like cutting my hair, do I want to grow my bangs like tomorrow? Yeah. Or do I want to chop it all off? Do I want to shave one side of my head? Like I'm going to do what makes me feel good. I can tend to be like a people pleaser still. Like I yeah. still struggle with that a lot. And um, I'm stepping into this new era of myself that is giving boss energy. Yeah. And girls with boss energy don't care like about anything, what anyone thinks. So I yes. am working on like less overthinking and more just doing whatever the hell yeah. my spirit feels led to do. Yes. And that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> the way to go. You yeah. are a queen. You are a queen. And we are a queen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You have, um, you have influenced a lot of us to accept who we are, not only um, our hair, but who we are. As your natural as, self. As your natural, beautiful self. Because and that's the goal. everyone needs to feel that they are worthy of love and worthy of being here and holding a spot in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Taking so up space important. in this world. Yeah. Yes. Oh. See, this is what I think is so special about a natural hair journey because look at how we started talking about hair and how it just, it's, yeah. it's so, it truly yes. is just so, so much deeper than just hair and like what your hair is looking like and what's it doing, what products are you yeah. using, you know what I mean? It's always so much deeper than that and that's why yeah. I love just kind of reflecting on my journey and kind yeah. of celebrating our journey yeah. because it's been a beautiful one of, again, more than just hair, yeah. but self-love, self-growth, loving yeah. my natural self, looking good, feeling good, being good, because that's just how we do. Yeah, guys, okay. literally we could be here talking with y'all all day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, a little bit different from what we've done before, yeah. but I don't know why it took us so long to do this, because I think this is great. It was fun. Listmas to the world. Hey, talking to <laughs> Listmas. 
<laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying them, by the way, because I put yeah. a lot of effort into making sure yes, that... Yes, she does. She does. Lots I've of, seen her. Yeah, it, yeah. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to get these videos up for y'all. So I hope you're enjoying it, yes. and I hope you enjoyed this video. We are so thankful to have such an amazing community over here, and I will catch y'all right here, same time, tomorrow, for another day of Listmas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Jamaica.